Hello Leo, welcome to a you and them love reading for August. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you and your person in love. Uh, how do you feel about each other? What are your per person's next actions or true intentions towards you? As always, this is meant to be a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, uh, and leave the rest. You could check your other placements as well. For more messages, I'll have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. And let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. Guidance for Leo in love. What does Leo need to know, Spirit, regarding love for August? For Leo. What's going on for Leo's in love? This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind and the roles can be reversed. What's going on for Leo and this person at this time in their connection? What's going on for Leo and this other person? What's going on in their connection? Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we have death, Scorpio energy, and the four of pentacles. So there could have been an ending here between you and this person. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone um, could be holding back here with the four of pentacles. Um, being guarded because of what's happened. We'll see. Tell me about death. Why is death here, spirit? Why is death here? For, Scorp for Scorpio. For Leo. <laughs> Why is death here, spirit? Eight of Pentacles. Why is death here? What's going on here? Strength. Well, there you are, Leo. You know, I see these two cards, the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card, and I think of someone that's working up their strength or working up their courage. Um, this is someone very focused, the Eight of Pentacles. They put in effort, hard work, and dedication, and they do it for a while. They've, you know, collected all these um, coins over time. So hmm, this could be somebody that um, after an ending or a change, and I feel like this is related to you. Let me get one more. Because you're here with the strength card. Tell me about death. Can you one more please for death? What's going on here? Ten of Pentacles. There could have been a long-term commitment here or a, a change or an ending because of an, a long-term commitment of some sort. We have the Four of Wands, yeah. So the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Wands for me is like marriage, a uh, long-term commitment. Um, there could have been an ending and a commitment or there's some sort of um, change or ending that happened because of another commitment. Um, but I feel like this is someone that is like after everything that has happened, it's like they're trying to work on something here. Maybe show show that they're willing to work on um, the connection or work on healing the connection. Maybe this is somebody that's kind of using work as a distraction. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Knight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The high priestess. So this could be somebody that's opening up communication here, revealing some sort of truth, uh, being honest about a secret or about a something that hasn't been said. Um, and then there's the three of wands. So there could be that you know somebody waiting for a message back. It could be that somebody is waiting for the right opportunity to speak here. Um, and I say somebody because both of your energies are here. This is what's going on in your connection. So you're both here. Um, so this could be you that needs to speak up or is working up the courage perhaps to talk about something or that could be your person because someone has definitely held back here with the four of pentacles and when I see something like the high priestess, the four of pentacles, the moon, I think that someone's keeping something hidden, guarding a secret or hiding their true feelings. Tell me about the four of pentacles. I think it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Um, this is somebody that's hiding their feelings here, holding back 
their feelings, holding back their emotions. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Fool. Maybe it's too risky for them to open up. Um, I have here the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups after that. So this could be somebody, once again, it's like this is happening after an ending. Um, this could be someone that wants a new beginning in love here with the Fool, the Ace of Cups. Um, maybe they are willing to take the risk to open up here, to open up how they feel. Um, with the King of Cups especially, like this is somebody, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, and this is somebody that's willing to, you know, they're very emotionally mature in tune with their emotions, able to express their emotions well. Um, very compassionate, loving energy here with the King of Cups. Um, they have a lot of love to give. And, you know, I see it here with the Ten of Swords. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. So it's almost like despite this ending, there's still a lot of love. Or someone maybe wants to talk about the feelings they have to, uh, regarding an ending. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Three of Swords. Yeah, this is a very painful ending with the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, disappointment, um, maybe somebody hurt you and they feel bad about that, Leo, or vice versa. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. This was a difficult ending. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy there. I feel like this is someone that's thinking about, you know, coming forward, um, especially with the Knight of Swords, King of Wands. I think of movement, action. I think of someone that's uh, bold. Hmm. So we'll see. We'll see when we look at both of your um, energies here. Get some more insight. I'm going to have um, your energies on one side, Leo, and your person on the other. Uh, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. Tell me more for Leo and their person spirit. Tell me more about their energies here. Okay, this is going to be one of those days where my decks, none of my decks cooperate. <laughs> okay, tell me about, I haven't even asked my question. You see what I'm talking about here? Tell me about Leo's energy. Tell me about Leo's energy spirit. What is Leo thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection, this person? Restoring balance. Okay, so you're thinking about resolution, harmony, stability. Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies? Tell me about Leo's person. Hidden feelings, yes. Your person might be the one that's hiding hiding something, holding back. Silence, suppression, fear. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. I feel like that's exactly what someone's doing though. Um, maybe fear has kept them a bit guarded or um, maybe it's easier to hold back than it is to come forward excuse me what else for Leo and their person tell me about Leo anything else we need to know anything else we need to know spirit about Leo we have bad health number 31 that's like the three of swords ten of wands ten of swords um, I feel like you were really hurt by this person. Tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. Thief. Whew. So with thief and hidden feelings, this is someone that might have been, uh, there might have been deception here. Um, someone might have deceived you. And whatever deception this was, I feel like it was very painful, very hurtful. Led to an ending of some sort. What else? I'm using my secret moon oracle here. What else can you tell me? Hold on. What else can you tell me for Leo? What else can you tell me for Leo? What are Leo's energies in this connection? Leo's energies. I still check up on you. Okay. What about Leo's person? What about Leo's person? What are their energies? I'm struggling. I mean, uh, I don't know why you're the one struggling, but okay. I feel like you're both kind of struggling here. 
But I think this person has has definitely has some sort of a secret or deceived you in some way or you know, it could have been even deception through omission, like something that someone didn't say, you know, didn't have to be an outright lie, but they held something back. And it's almost like it was still deceptive. I get one more for Leo's person. I get one more for Leo's person. I screwed up. Yeah, well, that that, that I feel is the case here for sure. He pulls a seller soulmate oracle for each of you. So we're going to get some guidance, please, for Leo. Get some guidance, please, for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Okay, tell me about Leo's person. I kind of want to start with them. What are they thinking or feeling here? I can't deny that you are my soulmate and we will be together again. Okay, tell me about Leo's person. I mean, Leo. <laughs> tell me about Leo. What are Leo's energies, Spirit? What are Leo's energies? What are Leo's energies? I have waited a lifetime for you. I dream of a future with you. Interesting. I feel like you do want to fix things, Leo, deep down with the restoring balance card here and that I still check up on you. Um, I feel like you're waiting expectantly or waiting for, for something to happen with this person. You know, maybe you want something to improve here. Okay, so let's let's get some um, insight with the tarot spirit tell me about leo and their person can i get some more clarity please on Leo and their person. Tell me about Leo. Get some insight to Leo's energy, please, Spirit. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, I'm looking at this. I have waited a lifetime for you. This could be a past life connection. Because they also are, I can't deny that you are my soulmate. And we will be together again. This is all kind of together. It's making me think of like a past life type of connection. King of Pentacles shows up. Okay. Can I get one more for Leo? Can I get one more, please? Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like there's definitely something here with commitment. Something here that happened um, regarding a commitment or something like that. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles that came up as well. And I'm also getting like maybe there's three people involved here. Um, when it's all said and done. More than one person. We have the Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, there's Fear, Indecision, Guarded Energy with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that I feel, I feel like you were very hurt by this person. Um, I feel like you, you're a bit stuck in, in like an energy that's like tied to this person or this situation. Like you haven't been able to really move on from this or think past this. Why the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles here? For me as a reader, these two are married or in a long-term commitment. Sometimes they even have children. Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. What's going on here? King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. The fact that all these court cards are showing up for you, Leo, I, I'm getting this message of you being very focused on like the dynamic between people. Uh, people are like something that you're thinking a, a, a lot about. Um, 
like for some reason when I'm putting these cards down I'm not thinking about the energies of like a king of cups or a king of wands uh, which is kind of strange because usually that's what what I go to or what I see but when I'm putting these cards down it's almost like there's something about certain people that it's like you're thinking a lot about that you're affected by that can I get one more please for the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles king of swords yeah look at this you're full there's all, all that you have here is just court cards tell me about this king of wands and it could be that one person is exhibiting two of these energies right like it doesn't have to be five people but there's something here definitely with people tell me about the king of wands Tell me about the king of wands please why is the king of wands here seven of pentacles there's that waiting energy tell me more about the king of wands you're waiting and, and wondering three of swords can i get one more for the king of wands despite the fact that you've been hurt despite the fact that this hasn't been easy for you or that Whatever happened was difficult. We have the high priestess, the fool at the bottom of the deck, and then the devil Capricorn energy. There's something here that I'm missing. I know it. Um, of course, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. You know, some of you, you end up giving me a little bit more clarity because I could tell you there's something here with people. It could be a family. It could be a set of friends. It could be a set of coworkers. It could be past partners, current partners. Um, and I feel like you're waiting because of this. It's almost like there's something going on in a group dynamic that, I don't know, it's always on your mind. Like you think about others. I don't know why this. I'm getting this message, but I am. And it's almost like there's a lot of... Um, Maybe like inner conflict you've experienced here with the high priestess, the three of swords. Maybe you're trying to seek answers or maybe you're listening to your intuition, letting your intuition um, guide you through this dynamic. I'm not sure, but I could tell you that when it I, when it comes to you, I feel like you're waiting for something to happen within this group of, you know, group of people. Tell me about the king of cups, king of swords. I feel like this is like um, expressing emotions here these two but let's see tell me about the king of cups king of swords spirit give me some clarity please for leo there's the king of cups king of swords here two of swords yeah someone's holding back here guarded guarded energy unsure what to do you know and it's 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 it's, it's interesting three uh five of pentacles you know, this is what I'm picturing, Leo. And of course, this isn't going to um, resonate with everyone. But I, I feel like you're this king of wands, right? You're like on the outskirts here, on the outside of, of this whole thing. Um, and then there's the there's another, like two other people. King and queen of pentacles. Some of you could have been dealing with someone that already had another person with them. Or was already committed to someone else. Or they have an influential person in their life that's like always there. I feel like you're outside of this. You know, like you're the like the third wheel or you are um, outside of this dynamic here. Um, and I feel like this is you, five of pentacles. Like you're outside of this, but still kind of hanging on in a way. Maybe you haven't gotten closure and it keeps you around. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to want to be with this person, but I almost get the sense that you want balance restored, whether it's coming back together with this person or whether it's just having inner peace. <laughs> because I feel like you are this two of swords. You're just not past this. You're stuck here. Let's look at your person. Tell me about Leo's person. Spirit, tell me about Leo's person. What's going on here? What's going on here with Leo's person? And I feel like you've, you've been really affected by this. Maybe your mental health, your physical health, um, just pain, uh, disappointment, devastation here. 
but I feel like you're also keeping that hidden. Tell me about Leo's person. What's going on with Leo's person? Eight of Swords. What's going on with Leo's person? The Lovers. Gemini Energy. What's going on with Leo's person? Two of Wands. Interesting. Well, with the, the Lovers and the Two of Wands, this is clearly a choice here between two. A uh, choice... And there's the higher font, Taurus energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a person who is in a another commitment. If that's the case, let me know in the comments. Others of you, I feel like something is in the way. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but I feel like there's something in the way because I feel like your person here with the two of wands, they have to choose a side, choose a path, make a decision. They can't have both, that kind of energy. And the lovers is here. So the lovers, yes, it's a card about union, but it's also a card about making a choice between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you. And I feel like this is someone's mind is almost like there's fear. You know, they're overthinking or they can't see a way out of their situation. What's this Eight of Swords about? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Knight of Swords. This could be somebody being scared to open up, to be honest, to tell the truth. Tell me about the lovers. It's the lovers here. Eight of Wands. So this could be about communication, movement. Tell me about the lovers. Someone deciding whether to reach out here. Tell me about the lovers, Spirit. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So this is someone trying to decide, you know, mo moving forward. Who? It's almost like they want, they need to know what path they want to go on in terms of a future it's almost like whatever decision this is is going to determine their future there's the chariot again bo bottom of the deck here now the chariot is more qu moves quickly so does the knight of swords so the knight of pentacles being here it's almost like someone's debating whether they should slow down speed this up you know it's it's like they they're trying to figure this out tell me about the two of wands why is the two of wands here? The devil, Capricorn energy. Why is the two of wands here? Now with the eight of swords and the devil, there's a restriction. There's a stuck energy. Tell me about the two of wands. The hierophant. Okay, so the Taurus energy. When I see these two, I think of a marriage that's not doing well. The devil and the higher font. I also am thinking of someone who they care a lot what people think and it gets them in trouble. They always make the wrong choice because they're worried about the Joneses, what people might say, what people might think. But I feel like this is a partnership here or a marriage or a commitment here. Can I get one more for the two of wands? This could be somebody debating between doing the right thing right a path where things are more traditional things are more expected uh following the rules or the devil kind of going with what you feel going with your instincts your desires i do see all these messages so let's get one more and tell me about the two of wands can i get one with the two of wands please one more please spirit why is the two of wands here nine of wands so i feel like this is somebody that um i don't think they've made a choice yeah okay so there's the moon pisces energy uh i don't think this person has clarity on what to do they literally i feel are just standing here struggling in whatever situation they're in and they're they're not moving they're just standing guard suffering is i just get that energy of like suffering struggling and they don't have clarity here with the moon. They have no idea what to do. Um, fear, doubt, confusion. Can I get one more, please, for the two of wands? And I don't know, it's almost like, I, I'm just getting like this stubborn energy. Tell me about the two of wands. It's like someone that deep down they know what they should be doing. And it's almost like, you know, like this stubborn energy, but it, like in a negative way, like almost like a masochist, you know, like a martyr. Tell me about the two of wands. 
I get one more spirit for the two of wands. Judgment. Hmm. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. There's something here with communication, Two of Cups after that, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. There's something here with communication. Uh, Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. That's for sure. Um, it's almost like with the Judgment card, though, it's like they need to make a Judgment call. And they're not. At this point, I don't really see them taking this action yet. Um... And I'm not sure why, but I just don't see them taking the action necessary here. It's like they're debating within themselves, having an internal battle here. Maybe they want to kind of um, send you a text here and see, you know, how you react, how you respond. But I feel like the, the, the difficulty lies in that these are two very different choices. And again, I get this energy of someone who knows that once they make a decision, whatever decision it is, once it's made, there is no going back. Spirit, tell me about this person's true intentions or next actions towards Leo for this connection. Actually, let me pull one of an animal spirit first. Tell me about this person's true intentions or next actions towards Leo. Tell me about this person's true intentions or next actions towards Leo. The bat. So this is kind of like the death card. This is a transformation and endings. Um, tell me about this person's true intentions or next actions when it comes to Leo or this connection spirit. What are this person's true intentions or next actions? Page of Cups. Okay. This person could apologize, open up the lines of communication, but it's going to be small. It's going to be a small, um, like a small expression of interest or small uh, expression of their feelings. Can I get one more? What are their true intentions or next actions towards Leo? Two of Pentacles. Okay, so again, I get the sense that this person just, they go back and forth, Leo. I'm not going to sit here and like pretend that I don't see that. It's right there. <laughs> You're looking at it. And again, I feel like the reason they're going back and forth is because this would change something completely. Either it's going to cause an ending in their own life or it's going to cause a change or transformation in your connection with them, something like that. We'll see more in the extended. Um, the extended is going to be all about where are things headed specifically with this person and what's challenging or blocking the connection. So if you want to get more insight, if this resonated for you and you want to know more, then check out the extended. It's completely bonus reading, um, giving you a bit more information than just what they're thinking or feeling, right? Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of that information is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, uh, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or share how the story resonated for you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.